Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdale here again. In this presentation I'm going to continue my series of videos involving um, partial derivatives and their applications. Now in this video I'm going to do an example involving a function of two variables and a surface. We're going to compute a normal vector to that surface and we're also going to compute a tangent plane to that surface at a given point. So let me share my screen with you and uh, we can have a look. Okay, so here is the question. Now, before I get down to that, you'll notice the font is massive. I'm trying to get a better um, font recognition on mobile devices. So if you are watching on a mobile device, please let me know if you can read the font. All right, so let's have a look at the question. Suppose A is the point 2, negative 1, 6 in three-dimensional space, and let's consider the surface associated with the following function of two variables. So let's call this, I don't know, f of x, y, just to emphasize that it's a function of two variables. We're asked to determine a normal vector and the equation of the tangent plane to our surface at the given point A. All right, so basically this question is an application of partial derivatives. The first thing we're going to do is determine this normal vector at A, or A normal vector at the point A, and then we're going to use that normal vector to get the equation of the tangent plane. Okay, so let's see how we go. All right, so if we're going to call this f, recall that a normal vector, and there are lots, so, so we'll just be calculating one, a normal vector n to our surface at the point A is given by the following, okay? It's given by, now I'm gonna write this as uh, what's known as an ordered triple. You can write it as a column. I'm just using it, writing it sort of horizontally to save a bit of space. All right, here it is. By the subscripts, I mean partial derivatives. So f sub x is df dx f sub y is df dy, and then we just evaluate them at the point, the given point A. So let's compute this, compute this, and we can then write down the uh, the vector. Okay, all right, so df dx. So let's go up here. We want to compute the partial derivative of this with respect to x. Now remember, when we do that, we let's say we're differentiating with respect to x, we imagine all the y's are just constants and we differentiate with respect to x. So that'll disappear, go to zero, and that'll become 2x. All right, to compute df dy or f sub y, we go up here, we differentiate with respect to y and imagine everything else is a constant. So that'll go to zero and this will become 4y. All right, so let's just write that down. So df dx, that's going to go to 0, that's going to go to 2x. Let's evaluate that at a. So we want to uh, put x equals 2 in x equals 2 in there, y equals negative 1, and, and um, z equals uh, 6. But there's no y's in here, so just put x equals 2 in. We'll get 2 times 2, 4. f sub y, imagine that's a constant, differentiate with respect to y. So that'll go to 0, that'll go to 4y. And when we plug in this value into here for y, we'll get negative 4. Okay, so we've got this expression. We know this bit's going to be 4. 
this uh, bit's going to be negative 4 and I've got the negative 1 on the end. Okay, so let's write that down. Okay, so that's the first part of the question. All right, so this vector will be normal to the surface. It's perpendicular to the, to the surface, if you like. Okay, so the next part of the question asks us to determine, if that's our function, determine a normal vector and the equation of the tangent plane to our surface at the point A, which is 2, negative 1, 6. Okay? All right, so we're going to use this normal vector to get the second part of the question. Okay, how do we do that? Well, let me show you. The equation of tangent plane at A is just the following. Now we know that the normal vector has to be perpendicular to the tangent plane, okay? So essentially, if x is a point in the plane with position vector given by this x, and a is the position vector associated with the given point a, then this dotted with this, this is a vector that lies in the tangent plane. This dot product have has got to be zero. Okay, that's the way I remember it. You can memorize the equation for the tangent plane in other ways, but for me this is very geometric. Okay, so this is easy because we can just write that as a vector. This is just the vector x, y, z, or x, i plus y, k, as j plus z, k. So let's write this down in a bit more detail. So we have 4, negative 4, negative 1, dotted. Let's write that out as a, as a triple. x, y, z minus the position vector related to a. So it's just this, just uh, interpreted as a vector. Okay, so I've just squeezed that in there. So now let's expand this out, and we're going to get the equation for our tangent plane. So let's just simplify this first. So that'll be x minus 2, y plus 1, z minus 6. And we'll do the dot in a minute. Okay, so we get uh, that minus that, that minus that and that minus that. All right, now remember with dot products, the idea is to multiply in a component-wise fashion and you add as you go. So it's that times the first component plus that times the second component plus that times the third component. And that'll give us our, our um, expression, okay? So we have the following, 4 bracket x minus 2 plus negative 4 times that plus negative 1, because this is a z here, times that equals 0. Okay, now, if you want to, you can tidy this up but I'm going to leave it like that as the final form. Okay, you, If you want to, you can make Z the subject and expand these out and simplify the constants, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so let's just summarise what we've done. We were given a point and a surface associated with a function of two variables. We were asked to do two things, determine a normal vector and the equation of the tangent plane at this point a. Firstly, we computed a, no the, a normal vector through partial derivatives to come up with that. 
then we use this to get our equation of our tangent plane, okay? And that was through a dot product. You don't have to do it that way. You can, if you want to, um, um, use uh, the form here involving partial derivatives. It's up to you. I just think this is this is better for me. Okay. Okay, so that's a basic example involving partial derivatives, a normal vector to a surface, and an equation of a tangent plane to uh, a surface. Okay, you'd see this kind of example in, say, a Calculus 2 course, or maybe even at the end of a Calculus 1 course. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation, hope you found it useful. If you are watching on a mobile device, please give me some comments. Um, on the font, can you read it okay? Because that's one of the things I want to improve my presentations on. So I always enjoy um, corresponding with you and chatting with you. If you have any questions or comments, you can always put them in the comment section below. All right, thanks again. See you later.